<laughs> anyway, this is Marvel. Marvel's the granddad of the Dow. I got my airdrop. I was discovered by Ryan Sean Adams in a podcast. Uh, Ryan and David go back and forth early on a few years back. Uh, and at the end, uh, David was pontificating what he was excited about. And then he stops and turns and says to Ryan, and what are you excited about this week, Ryan? And the two words that attracted me were Bill Ford. That's me. And I'm laying on my grandfather's couch in a cabin that he built in 1937 up in the hills of Idaho. And I said, that's me. And then they pontificated about some 76-year-old guy teaching himself DeFi. And so that attracted me, and I was already a premium member. So I got the airdrop and was an OG. It wasn't long before I got wrecked trying to give a donation to GitHub. Somebody came in and wanted to validate my uh, MetaMask account. Well, he not only validated, he drained me of all my bank. So I was uh, in a status of no bank, no membership, but Frog Monkey and Above Average Joe felt sorry for the old guy who'd got wrecked and fished already. So they created this thing called Guest Pass. And I think I was a first Guest Pass holder, and if not close. And anyway, they didn't make me renew mine because I was already a dedicated OG and I proved myself uh, during season one. We were starting se or season zero. So we we're starting season one. Chaotic time. Uh, I ran for OBS Buzzman. It was a one year tour of duty to resolve friction points. And so I got to hear a lot of different concerns and comments about how fast we were growing and how to communicate. And that was a good thing. I worked in marketing, ran a campaign for GitHub. I worked in the Education Guild, watched uh, Bankless Academy get started was one of the first Sobel editors. So I've just dabbled in a lot of different projects, a lot of it guilds. And uh, mostly I just come here to listen and cheerlead and wish everybody well and try to remove as many friction points as I can. Uh, I've got some concerns right now. A lot of the OGs uh, in that slide that I think put up that showed the Chippy family. There are 10 Chippies showing up there. 40% by my account are no longer involved with the DAO. They're still out there. They still connect once in a while. They still love Bankless DAO, but for whatever reasons, their time and talents uh, are being spent elsewhere in the Web3 universe. So one of my big concerns is not only recruitment and uh, welcoming people, getting them involved, but how do we retain people for the long haul? To me, this is not a... a one year or two year journey, it's a decade. I started uh, down Web3 looking at blockchain almost three decades ago with blockchain uh, when Bitcoin came in and wasn't attracted to it. But COVID got me attracted to Ethereum and I got up at 4 a.m. I'm on the West Coast of the United States to watch the launch of the Beacon Chain and I've been very much a Ethereum fan ever since. But welcome. <laughs>